Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Masa today. My name is Matthew, and the director of the Flexibility Partnerships, and I'm here with Dr. Chu. Very grateful to be here. Good morning. Good morning. So today we're going to talk about employability. We're going to talk about what Masa does to increase student employability. So that when they graduate, they go out into the workforce and then ahead of the game, they better than the other graduates that are coming in the other day. And we know that's important because graduate employability is hard. It's always hard. So what do we do to ensure that our graduates have the age? Alright, so one of the things is this. In the Kiri there are a lot of uh, skills that employers are looking for, and they're not the traditional sort of like academic skills. So here at Russell, we've had a lot of these new skills. And what we're really talking about is what we call 21st century skills. We are looking for, or employers are looking for, communication skills. Creativity and critical thinking. So, here in Marcel, I've got to talk to you. Um, what does Marcel do to get students right from the beginning of the joint foundation? What does Marcel do to really nurture uh, communication, creativity, and critical thinking? Dr. Chu, from my vision. Great. So, uh, my own concerns of the students. Okay, so the last question 
was concerned with the closing of the center of the It's surprising how many of their friends and people we know and we don't have that skill in their head. And it's probably one of the top five communication skills we need in the workforce. If your boss is going to ask you questions, if your boss is going to ask you questions, then you better have an answer. If you freeze up, you're in trouble. Okay, excellent. That's good to know. It's good to know you're also being placed as a premium on mentoring communication skills and on students. So let's look at what you mentioned earlier digital marketing. So digital skills, not just digital marketing, but there are these all sorts of things out there. Why are they important in the mentoring in the students? Right, now, uh, is it a free? Well, it is a sense of it. It might be a minority in the public business right now. We use that kind of need. So if you are in a person that you can be that kind of thing, it's a community economy and it's a variety of things that are taking place. Because like that, everything is so far by the way. So we have to be able to navigate and sneak to all those kind of things that are still in the education software, as well as the community information that's still in the program and this kind of thing. Something you learn by doing. It's not something you learn by, by 
really, really good for what you need to do. Okay? It's something that you want to really build up your ability to be following it and then get it out, being corrected, and then doing it again. And that's why it's important to start as early as possible so that the time actually graduating them to the workforce, they have three, four, five years of really honing and getting these skills down to a point where they don't need anything extra. And, and from the very beginning of the foundation to the graduation, NASA offers opportunities to learn, they offer opportunities to train, they offer opportunities to get cutting edge skills. Okay, that are really, it's what employees are looking for. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. And uh, before we end, I have a question. Right, so, how uh, do you get the house to them in my country of the Okay, I like this, it's like a bit of a reverse as Okay, so what we do is, alright, we do all the traditional things we do in your career fairs, we do uh, employment talks, so we actually, we actually do a series of, of workshops so that students will basically learn how to do a CV, they'll learn how to interview properly, they'll learn how to present themselves and get some security presence out there. Um, so that when we do meet with H12, we do get that interview, then we get the pressure. Okay, at the end of the day, that time acquisition executive has probably interviewed, I don't know, maybe 10 to 20 other candidates, but it's the master grad that's going to leave the impression. Uh, I would say also, you know, we do a lot, we do a lot to focus on networking so that students really have a good networking skills. There's a lot of opportunities in networking also. And we bring the industry onto campus. Okay, we have interesting talks, we have, we have people coming in and doing this stuff from, from a large companies to startups. I mean, there's, there's a lot of skills that are needed in startups that translate to every aspect of working life. So we really try to get students out there with an excellent internship placement program uh, because a really good internship uh, is like a, a crown <laughs> on your job skills. Because no one can simply say, okay, I've finished my degree, I don't need to learn anymore, or 
just the, it just it, that doesn't exist anymore. If it ever did, um, so employers are looking for people that can train themselves. They're looking for people that can not just solve problems but find problems. And people go there, they look at the situation and say, oh, I can see the problem. Now they want a solution. Uh, and that's all part of this learning mindset. Okay, you, you learn and master, you learn how to learn, and you learn how to do it for yourself. This doesn't mean a lot. It means taking the initiative and learning more, and then when you run into a problem, that's when you go and you seek advice on getting help. That kind of that kind of mindset, that kind of independence, is something that really all employees need for. Okay. All right. Thank you, everyone. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.